although it's a little bit obscured at the moment. Um, uh, some links to the after dinner talk, the conference poster, the general public session poster down there, as well as more generally uh, videos and slides from all the talks we've had this week. So if you miss someone's talk or you want to go back and review it, you'll be able to go to the website and look at them. I'm told the videos of the talks are available. Okay. All right. With that said, our first speaker of the morning will be Maxim Kansevich, who will be telling us about resurgence and exact quantization via holomorphic floor cohomology. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, usually speakers st start thinking organizers for inviting to this conference, but I'm kind of self invited organizer, so I can't really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Is it possible to raise it? Uh, no. What is this? Even further, or okay. Sir, sure? okay. Now, so um, I will give a talk essentially without any nice formulas. I, I apologize for people who like formulas here, yeah. but um, I will speak about some kind of simple general ideas from which uh, uh, which are powerful enough so one can using these ideas, immediately get plenty of nice formulas if one work uh, a little bit. Uh, but it's kind of just a little bit general. Uh, but it's, uh, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, story. Yeah, so it's about uh, kind of uh, two quantizations. I hope the letters are sufficiently visible. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, um, kind of in, uh, there are two ways to associate to symplectic manifolds, some non commutative uh, uh, gadgets. Yeah, suppose we have symplectic manifold, which could be real or complex, holomorphic symplectic form, uh, then one can construct uh, this things called deformation quantization. Uh, uh, it's over, again, R or C, over formal power series in Planck constant, uh, it's form power series expansion. Uh, what does it mean to you deform algebra functions of this ring? Um, and, and this deformation quantization is not, uh, if you want to deform algebra functions, so uh, locally you do like uh, micro differential operators. You think about if you have xi variables uh, in half of, uh, uh, of your Lagrange manifold, consider other half of sh. Uh, times derivatives and um, and they form algebra, which is deformation of algebra of functions. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, you get algebras up to inner automorphisms. If you change coordinates, you cannot really identify algebras. Or canonically, what you have. Uh, the construction is local, you get a sheaf of abelian categories. Of abelian categories. It works both in real and complex case. In, um, and is that the story which you get? It's one quantization. And second is, I think which, uh, it's very, uh, very classical and um, Mm, it was this canonical shift of categories was constructed. Uh, yeah, it follows also for deformation, general deformation quantization for Poisson manifold. But for uh, in symplectic case, it was constructed by uh, many people and, um, uh, and by Kishwar Shapira, but it's by other people as well. Uh, uh, so get. Uh, this guy and another is Foucault category. Now we consider real symplectic manifold. 
manifold m uh, now in put notations m omega and this really uh, essential uh, part here uh, it it should have some convexity at infinity if it's is a manifold is not compact on the uh, one should put some good conditions uh, so example of bad manifold which is not convex at infinity, you took well, like a usual R to N and remove origin. And for N greater than two is a bad, uh, it's not a good, uh, it's not compact near zero if you, and the boundary is kind of concave, not convex. So the whole thing will break down if you don't have this convexity. And uh, cotangent bundles are okay, and many examples are okay, but there are bad examples. And if you have this convexity, then you get Foucault category. Uh, and Foucault, in Foucault category, it's some category over, it looks to be over uh, um, formal power series with integer coefficients. Uh, I assume, uh, assume that cohomology class of my form is integral. In exponent one minus over h bar. Yeah, in f in fact, uh, this should be series which are convergent near zero. In general, we don't know how to prove it, but uh, there are all evidence that a series will be uh, a series which appear in the game will be ex with exponential growth and have integer coefficients. Now, so you see that are completely two, uh, two different uh, things, and uh, somehow they looks very similar, kind of. Lagrangian manifold gives object in one variety, Lagrangian manifold more or less gives object in another variety, uh, but uh, the, uh, uh, the series are very different, series in each bar, and here with no, no, no hope for convergence, and, and kind of convergence series in exponent, but here there's no series in of each bar as, uh, at all. And for 20 years, I was completely puzzled how this two quantization existent of kind of more or less the same object and do not talk to each other. And what I explained today is it's uh, some way to, there's a natural way how they live together, talk to each other, and we get trans series. And the solution is that we should go with co complex symplectic manifolds, not for real one, and apply both uh, pictures as far as we, we can. Uh, yeah, suppose now m omega is uh, uh, complex, let's all see, algebraic symplectic variety. So symplectic form is also algebraic. And um, then one can do uh, something uh, kind of, sometimes can have kind of non-perturbative quantization. It's kind of uh, version of deformation quantization, but uh, in algebraic world. And to make it some uh, non-perturbative, uh, kind of uh, have h bar not a formal parameter, but actual parameter, one need again some assumption uh, the assumption is kind of algebraic convexity at infinity. And uh, uh, with some approximation, what does it mean algebraic convexity at infinity? It means that m omega can be, it's kind of open, dense, uh, 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 there is the open dense in some Poisson manifold. Uh, and compact, compact Poisson variety. And m, o, m omega should be o open, dense, symplectic leaf. If you get Poisson structure, then it can decompose symplectic leaves, and sometimes you have just one big open leaf. Open, dense, symplectic leaf. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so many years ago I wrote a paper how in this situation and get kind of actual family, which is a family of categories. Whatever. Uh, uh, actual family, but it depends, depending on the age bar, it's not algebraic, but on age bar, it's still analytic, not algebraic, but it's very close to algebraic one in appropriate coordinates. Uh, yeah, so what are kind of standard examples? Uh, if M omega is, let's say, cotangent bundle to some variable x, uh, then you consider uh, uh, for h non equal to zero, you get differential operators uh, or d modules uh, strictly speaking you should consider twisted by uh, consider differential operators in the square root of canonical bundle uh, uh, mm, and yeah, there was, of course, C star square with this form, kind of whatever, DZ1, OZ1, DZ2, OZ2. Uh, you get a quantum torus. You get kind of Z1 hat, Z2 hat, is equal to Q, Z2 hat, Z1 hat, where Q is exponent of H bar. Yeah, so you see it's not algebraic in H bar, but algebraic in exponential variable. And you can consider CP2 minus cubic curve. And you get a symplectic form, which is given kind of dz1, dz2 divided by cubic equation. Cubic equation, it will be two form. Then you get some, something essentially Sklenian algebra. And you get exponen uh, kind of ex um, uh, exponential map in the world of elliptic curves. Yeah, so there's a kind of three basic uh, classes of examples, rational, trigonometric, and elliptic case uh, of uh, symplectic manifolds of interest. Uh, again, this con convexity, which I mentioned, kind of, uh, I want to get kind of bad case, it's you get like C2 minus zero, it will be uh, not a good, it doesn't have this Poisson, it's not open, then symplectic leaf in Poisson quantification because you should add zero to this leaf. Yeah, so that's kind of completely parallel to uh, story in Foucault category, and my feeling is these things are essentially should be equivalent for complex symplectic manifolds, this Foucault category convexity and uh, deformation quantization convexity. Uh, Okay, yeah, so get these two uh, uh, mm, uh, this complex uh, algebraic variety. And now I can say kind of main postulate, which uh, um, yeah, should be proven, in some, but uh, that it's, it's kind of. Uh, Riemann Hilbert correspondence. Uh, for such M, uh, um, for any H bar non equal to zero, uh, uh, kind of, I forgot to say that in these categories, this always makes sense to speak about holonomic objects, like here. In deformation quantization objects, uh, kind of models which, when h bar equal to zero, will be supported on Lagrangian variety coherent shifts. And for k category, you get kind of compact or almost compact Lagrangian varieties. And here, also this notion of holonomicity. Yeah, so consider holonomic objects in what? In consider Foucault category applied to M as a real manifold with symplectic form 
omega to zero. So I should be a bit explain what I'm doing here. Uh, he, uh, h, one h bar h zero, and here what I mean. Uh, I, I consider real part of this thing as, as a symplectic form plus i times imaginary part. And this is also a symplectic form, but I just treat it as uh, imaginary closed to form, which is called B field. And this is something which can be added in Foucault category for free. Uh, you can uh, have a real symplectic form plus arbitrary imaginary uh, uh, mm. Mm. Uh, real closed form, and you just add two integrals, uh, think like this. And uh, holonomic objects should be equivalent to uh, ca uh, category of holonomic modules or holonomic objects in this non perturbative uh, de uh, de quantization. And the equivalence uh, should be uh, very non uh, kind of, it will be equivalence is holomorphic, both in objects and in H bar. bar but not algebraic. Now, why it's, uh, and for Kai category, one need to be, uh, strictly speaking, put some boundary conditions. Sorry? OK, yeah, I'll try to write larger, yeah. In Fouquet category, one, uh, strictly speaking, one may get some kind of wrapped Fouquet category, put some wrapping. It's some technical word at infinity. So object will be not compact. And what uh, this is some version of Fouquet category for this uh, thing? Mm. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So it's uh, in part. Uh, it includes usual Riemann-Hilbert response in uh, basic case, for example, if M is cotangent bundle to algebraic symplectic uh, algebraic variety, maybe not compact. Uh, there will be always convexity property for such things, and part of Fouquet category will be like local systems, like we get. Fouquet category of M on each bar uh, contains uh, representations of fundamental group. Uh, which has some algebraic variety, character variety, and here we get bundles with flat connections, uh, algebraic bundles with flat connections. So we get usual riemann hilbert correspondence, and also various uh, extensions like to Irregular singularities and so on should be part of this picture for cotangent bundle. Uh, but the claim that the same should work for quantum tori and as well. Uh, so it's, it's really not uh, uh, um, uh, sp something special for cotangent bundles. It's, uh, uh, it will be the same for, qua for quantum torus. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, it's kind of, uh, this mm. uh, uh, or, or one can see it from other viewpoint uh, as a definition of non perturbative quantization. We define non perturbative quantization as such uh, Foucault category. Uh, uh, it will be some pretty canonical family of categories, depending on each bar. Now, uh, mm. Now, uh, mm, uh, what, what goes on in this picture, we have uh, equivalence for h bar not equal to zero, but on the right hand side, we have a limit when h bar goes to zero because we, have, we go kind of a limiting object. 
uh, how we can see it's on Foucault's side. That's the main uh, kind of puzzle. And uh, if you have family of objects, kind of e, e h bar, for h bar non equal to zero, and let's say h bar will be uh, uh, complex numbers close to zero. Suppose you have kind of holomorphic family of, again, this holonomic object, depending on h bar and corresponding category. I didn't denote this category. But, uh, and such that, uh, and assume that the limit exists. And where is the limit? The limit is uh, uh, what usually people call kind of Higgs bundle. It's not a bundle. It's actually coherent shift. on X, supported on some lag, uh, complex Lagrangian sub, sub, subset. It's kind of algebraic Lagrangian subset, maybe singular. It's not even sub-variety, uh, closed algebraic. Mm. Uh, uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's, interest, uh, uh, let's fix this subset and we're interested in various objects which has limits supported from this subset. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this kind of uh, uh, assumption which uh, very uh, very important, I'll explain why it's really very important, assumption that the support, that, uh, uh, support of E0 is L as scheme. So it means that it's killed, uh, it's not uh, nil some nilpotent extensions, but actually Lagrangian variety itself. Uh, uh, that's uh, the, st uh, the story when uh, support get important, get completely new behavior, which I'll explain later. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, that will be very important assumption. Suppose uh, support is a, is a scheme, and then, sorry, no, no, it could have several components, like collection of curves, very singular, uh, reduced, yeah, L reduced, yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, then, uh, then uh, uh, first of all, uh, by making completion at h great equal to zero, we got a kind of all form of power series, we get uh, um, things uh, belong to the um, uh, realm of deformation quantization. And it's known uh, if uh, on a smooth part of L, on L minus singularities, uh, this deformation quantization models whose support is L uh, as a scheme are the same as local systems. It's the same as local system, maybe, maybe again after some twist, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, with coefficients over CH bar on L. And if, in, if for example, L, if L is smooth, you get just representation of fundamental group of L, with some base point, to some JLN with coefficients in uh, In, uh, in convergent series, uh, yeah, uh, what goes on in general? 
uh, if, if L is singular, uh, you get something a bit more complicated. You get not a representation of fundamental group. And um, in this case, uh, what, what is expected, it's kind of local Riemann-Hilbert correspondence. Uh, which says the following. Just for singular L, uh, one should associate certain uh, 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 algebra, uh, maybe you know, by L, A, A, L, uh, defined over integers, and it will be kind of finitely uh, presented. Almost strictly speaking, it will be maybe DG algebra uh, and so on. Uh, but it will be f kind of finitely many generalizations in relations. It's a kind of generalization of, of the group ring of the fundamental group of L, if L is smooth. Yeah, so uh, because L, uh, if L is smooth, the group ring is, has finitely many generalizations in relations using cell decomposition. It uh, gets certain algebra, and but this, this algebra will have certain automorphism. Uh, instead of this, one can maybe think about uh, a local system of algebras of a circle, and circle will be argument of H bar. And uh, mm. so you get this algebra, and uh, uh, and local Riemann response will say the following. That's uh, deformation quantizations modules uh, 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 with, uh, with support in L uh, is a category, it's a, is the a following thing. You consider representation of your algebra to matrices of certain size. But instead of this ring, uh, which I uh, uh, explained before, you consider C of H with rational non-negative coefficients, and also add maybe polynomials and logarithm of h bar. It's a completely formal game. You get this ring, and this ring carries automorphisms. Uh, and automorphism, is, which is the following: h bar to power a over b goes to or some rational number goes to exponent of 2 pi i a over b h bar over a over b. And for logarithms, you add 2 pi i. Yeah, so it's certain uh, algebra with automorphism. And this representation should be compatible with automorphism. Uh, and uh, this uh, invariance on this atomorphisms will be uh, series in H bar with integer coefficients, so it will be category over C over H bar. So I think maybe can do. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, yeah, the important story about this algebra, uh, L depends only, only on neighborhood of L in M. So this global topology plays absolutely no role. It's uh, like representation of fundamental group. It's of L only, not of the ambient space. Mm. Now, that's a local Foucault category. Uh, yeah, if L is singular, 
uh, just can say a few words what is algebra. It's something which we're going to describe like uh, perverse shifts. Yeah, there are some linear algebra descriptions or, or, or kind of like stocks data, similar um, business. Yeah, yeah it's, um, it's kind of combinatorial, almost topological object. And uh, so what is the main key point here? The claim that it's for generic argument of H bar. H bar with a generic argument. Uh, this local Fouquet category, I, 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 uh, I just consider uh, um, fine dimensional uh, AL modules. Yeah, I put H bar because I said it can interpret its local system of a circle, depending on the argument H bar models. Embeds as a full subcategory to a global Fouquet category. Uh, why it is so? Um, uh, in general, one can try to uh, there are, uh, what is actually Fouquet category. I didn't uh, uh, tell you if you don't know it. Uh, the Fouquet category uh, uh, roughly consider Lagrangian manifolds, but then you start to perturb by some holomorphic disks. And to define Fouquet category, we need to, to choose almost complex structure. on M, uh, compatible with uh, uh, my real symplectic form. Oh, sorry. Omega, just to form, uh, divided by H bar. Uh, compatible with real uh, symplectic form. Uh, so in this way, this point-wise, it looks like a Keller manifold. Just symplectic composite structure will be not integrable. And then we're interested in something like holomorphic disks for the story. And holomorphic disks, almost holomorphic disk, uh, spoil, uh, uh, spoil the functor. Yeah, kind of, it's, it's, it spoils this subcategory. And uh, the story is a following. It's, in fact, it's very unpleasant to, know, uh, to choose almost complex structure because it should be not the complex structure we start with. It should be something else. And uh, uh, I don't want to make any choice. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the choice from a con uh, contractible set. And what one can do, one can choose almost uh, hyperkeller structure. Just point-wise to choose some uh, hyperkeller metric without any integrability conditions, compatible with, simple, with my symplectic form, with symplectic form omega. Let's assume that it comes from a almost hyperkeller structure. Compatible point-wise with omega. Then, uh, a very easy calculation shows that if argument of H bar is not equal to argument of integral over to form over any disk uh, with class of disk, which is uh, uh, some disk in, uh, in my manifold M with boundary on L, Consider relative homology, kind of, uh, yeah, so you get this kind of this disks, this boundary on L. And then uh, there is no uh, almost holomorphic disks with boundary on this thing. Uh, you get some kind of contradictions. This, this area sh uh, integral should be uh, real and it will be not real, uh, something like this. So there's no almost holomorphic disks. And this shows that you get this uh, 
full embeddings. And uh, mm, yeah, it's a very robust argument. You don't do any choices so for, uh, for all of them you get with this contractible family of choices, you get no embedding, so you get something absolutely canonical. You don't have to worry what is the construction of Fouquet category. You get this. Uh, full embedding. And there will be only countably many arrays, because you have only count, uh, just have, for each homology class, you should calculate complex number and take, remove this possible array, uh, you get this uh, uh, full embedding. And it, uh, uh, so what I want to say, um, Mm. Mm. What happens if you cross, if H bar crosses Stokes ray? Uh, we get slightly different embedding. But it's like open subset. We just map embedding of open. Uh, so we get kind of one open subset and very close in other open subset space of objects. Full subcategory just open domain space of objects. And that it means that if you embed one thing in, uh, twice, so it means you essentially get kind of automorphism of this category, close to identity. So it means that you get automorphism of, of my algebra. And in this automorphism, what will happen? This uh, things like in Fouquet category exponentials of areas of disks will e enter the game. Uh, yeah, just a typical example. If suppose my Lagrangian manifold is a, uh, some elliptic curve, uh, so there are two generators of the group ring. My algebra is Laurent polynomials in two loops. Group, uh, group ring is a fundamental group, which is group uh, Laurent polynomials. And the automorphism look like something like, uh, suppose um, uh, there exist this, uh, when, it, when across the race, there will be this uh, holomorphic disks in certain homology class. Then the automorphism will be something like uh, gamma two, gamma one goes to itself, but gamma two goes to gamma two, and now plus, uh, plus exponent of the integral minus integral of omega of h bar over this of the disk, which will be very small, which will be real, uh, real numbers very close to minus infinity, so it will be extremely small guy times gamma one. Yeah, so it's typical cluster transformation which appears in this case. Yeah. So what, uh, what's the conclusion? We have, uh, if you want to construct the whole picture, we have the following story. We get H bar plane. We get uh, the stocks race. In fact, it could be infinitely many or dense everywhere. But uh, let's ignore this. And then we get family of algebras, local family of algebras uh, or a, a, a H bar modules. Uh, we can see the models or in different algebras in different uh, stock sectors, and they are related by automorphisms which are, have exponential small behavior at zero. And all is given by all data is given by a huge countable system of integer constants. Like here, you get constant one here, for example, here. In, in the constants which appear in this series, uh, which could be uh, called maybe open Gromov-Witten invariants or DT invariants on various situations. Yeah, so it's basic uh, BPS numbers, which we, so, so a huge collection of some integer numbers, some indices, and it's mm, robust. It doesn't depend on any choice. No. Uh, Things. And this is describes uh, how the whole system of gluing. And 
Now, uh, what will be kind of Riemann-Hilbert correspondence in, uh, for families which glues to h bar equal to zero? Namely, we should consider, uh, it's a bit dangerous to, maybe I'll just write something here. Riemann Hill response for families over h bar less than one and greater than zero. The main point is including zero. Uh, yeah, now I just glue this h bar equal to zero to the whole game um, is, is the following. We get f f uh, holomorphic families of h bar. Uh, I and one to one correspondence with the following things. Uh, uh, on stock sectors, we get uh, families, holomorphic families of, uh, of, uh, uh, of modules, AHL modules, which has asymptotic expansion. Exactly in this ring which I uh, drew before. Uh, uh, it'll have asymptotic expansion exactly in this H2 rational numbers uh, and polynomials in log H bar, uh, which appears in this local picture. And if you cross the, uh, if in, and if you cross, uh, the ray, you should apply this automorphism of algebra, which does affect formal power series expansion. So you get simultaneously for this Foucault picture both uh, part in, in local uh, Riemann Hilbert correspondence form power series expansion and uh, all story. Yeah, and uh, that's um, uh, yeah, that's perspective from uh, this uh, Foucault categories. And from this one can explain, extract, I don't have time, all formulas uh, for which one I want for solution of, for solution of a differential equation depending on small parameters and so on, and in particular one get kind of resurgence for free for everything. Which you uh, like uh, monodromies how it depends on parameter solutions. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I see that's kind of a different perspective because original wall crossing appears maybe from black holes. Uh, physics than four-dimensional uh, supersymmetric series, then three-dimensional Calabi-Yau, uh, integrable systems, but here it's, uh, it's just pure uh, 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 um, Foucault category uh, uh, origin. Mm, yeah, for example, if you want... Um, sorry? Yeah, no, if, if there'll be this convergence, uh, if this series will be convergent, a uh, small large bar, you get resurgence, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this actually, yeah, a few words I can say about this. Uh, mm, mm, first question, how we calculate this countable system of numbers? It looks like a horrible, Problem, yeah, you should calculate many, many, infinitely many integer numbers. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, this BPS numbers, okay, or DT, whatever the things are, gives, uh, 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 this satisfying this whole crossing formulas and, uh, and one can kind of a bit tilt our uh, central charge so the walls will be rational hyperplanes. Uh, yeah, because it's by wall crossing, you, it's enough to define for kind of nearby uh, uh, for, for rational case. When you get map from H2, doesn't necessarily should come from geometry of ML to let's say Q plus QI sitting C. So if you if the central charge you tilt. Uh, to make uh, map to uh, things, then all these things you get algebraic functions. Uh, 
yeah, that's some pretty general phenomena. Um, and in fact, one can uh, cancel the whole big science and explain everything uh, in very interesting terms that you compactify character varieties by different corners and put different algebraic coordinates near corners. Yeah, so the things, it's all this countable sets of numbers. It's, you can uh, put on computer some few algebraic functions and do something with them and produce all this countable system of numbers uh, from this game. And it works uh, in pretty general situation. For example, even for quantum tori, if you consider quantum tori, uh, there was a recent uh, paper by various people who are here, like uh, Marcus and Sergey Gukov. Yeah, for uh, you do something for Chen Simon theory, but in fact, it's, it's, it's the same story. It's equivalent to the story for quantum torus, all this business. And you get certain resurgence. Yeah. Uh, and for example, in quantum torus, if you go to inertial cover, you get uh, maybe uh, this central charges form some, uh, some arithmetic progressions. Mm, uh, if, uh, if for quantum torus, because uh, if you um, consider these integrals over disks, you have uh, some homology class of torus itself, which can be added to this thing. Uh, so the all possible integrals form arithmetic progression. And, uh, uh, and, get, and if n is equal to m square, you get uh, this BPS number is equal to plus minus one and zero otherwise. You get something like this. And what is this? It means that the degenerative series is theta function of dt invariance. And it's kind of secret algebraic functions on model, on model, model curve. Yeah, so one can, uh, even in this chern simon theory, one can a priori calculate all these multiplicities uh, just from nothing. You don't have to solve infinitely many equations uh, or count how many gradient lines. Mm. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, pretty simple story. And uh, mm, yeah, there was uh, uh, just uh, one uh, small remark. What to do if uh, in this picture I have uh, uh, L with multiplicities? Not a scheme. So the whole thing will break down if L with, you get support, support L with nil potents. Uh, then one can try to see this L, kind of with nil potents, as kind of limit of uh, things with uh, n h bar goes to zero, to, uh, uh, you get like several branches collapse to each other. And then, if you calculate areas of the disks, areas of the disk, uh, you get some kind of L will be limit of kind of, kind of L tilde. And if you consider H2 of M with L tilde, uh, um, then we get central charge, which can be called like, like central charge divided to OH bar. Or integral. It will get a map to polynomials in H in strictly negative rational numbers. It could be uh, 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 the integral of two form divided by h bar uh, will be uh, will have uh, will be could appear square root of one over h bar or things like this. You can get something like one over h square root of bar plus one over h bar. Two thirds. You, you get expressions like this, uh, and powers will be extra, it will be between zero and minus one in this interval. You get h2 lambda, v lambda between minus one and zero. And um, you can just generalize the whole story in these in this, uh, changes uh, when you consider you, uh, you allow uh, not expo uh, you allow kind of gamma one, uh, whatever. You just allow things uh, of this form. And this governs uh, the most general case of differential equation with small parameters when you enter different exponents and different behavior, not used, uh, not to be used to. Mm. Yeah, and so maybe two minutes, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, mm. oh, it's broken, okay. Sorry? Ah, uh, no, it's, it's a really long story, but it, it kind of, it, it, you...
uh, see in this case that Lagrangian manifold is kind of, uh, you get family of OH bar of Lagrangian manifold which collapse to something uh, singular with multiplicities. And now you integrate uh, integrals of two form of disk with boundary on this guy and consider only negative, expo or negative parts of H bar here. You completely ignore positive parts. You get finitely many uh, divergent terms. And that's, uh, that's how you get um, mm, uh, uh, this story. Yeah, and um, uh, just maybe just last remark, I want to say that there's still another perspective if you forget about this uh, trouble. Uh, another perspective on all the story is that uh, uh, one can write, uh, uh, one can try to uh, calculate this wave functions in the following way. For example, uh, yeah, if you have, let's say, some spectral curve and maybe a cotangent bundle to some point, and you get a spectral curve. Yeah, so, so this Lagrangian manifold will be union of spectral curve and cotangent bundle. And this uh, things allows you to calculate uh, value of wave function in uh, a given point of your manifold, if it's my, my M is cotangent bundle. Yeah, get kind of that's like, typical picture. And then you get this mm. uh, holomorphic disks uh, in this whatever fictitious almost complex structure which contribute to the game, uh, which participate in the game. Uh, now, so these disks can be as, uh, 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 these disks in this situation can be sort as pass in pass space in the space of maps from zero one to m, and let's say the zero goes to one Lagrangian manifold, one goes to another. Sorry, it's broken. Oh, yeah, it's completely broken. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, two form gives a one form on this pass space, so you, you go to a situation of kind of pass integral. Kind of, um, uh, you can see the infinite dimensional complex manifold and, um, and uh, just try to calculate cohomology of exponent of one form. Uh, uh, and you get closed holomorphic one form on infinite dimensional manifolds and try to do some pass integral in the situation. And, uh, and these things will be kind of, uh, then you have calculus of left shift symbols, and this will be how this left shift symbols appears. And wall crossing, it's something which is kind of people overlooked. Uh, I think even Ed Witten also wrote some papers about quantum mechanics, but uh, uh, the, the general picture was that what can happen with gradient lines in infinite dimensions that one pass gro uh, breaks to two pass uh, gra gradient lines. It's kind of Chikoti Waffa. But what can happen with these disks uh, there will be different boundary components if, if you go in the families. Uh, what can happen with, uh, with holomorphic uh, uh, the strips? It, it means it's. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's better, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe I'll write it here. Yeah. I just have to finish in a second. Yeah. Yeah, so what really happens with uh, uh, corresponding picture in uh, original manifold that it's uh, one uh, two gon can split in two two gons. But we know very well that it can also split to something like this, uh, which means that if you have a pass in a pass space, uh, yeah, so uh, in a pass space you get one pass bro breaks to two pass, and, and here you get pass grows, and here if you look at kind of pass space, it's just uh, infinite loops appears, so it goes to shorter pass. It's a new phenomena, which means you get automatically automorphism of group ring of the, fundam of the uh, fundamental group. Uh, yeah, so this wall crossing phenomena should be a completely general uh, story uh, when you get things with parameters in general uh, kind of complexified um, pass integral. Uh, picture, which is, which is was overlooked uh, uh, because in some cases it doesn't appear, but in fact it uh, just very universal story. Thank you. Questions? Ah, okay. Ah. 
how far do you think you can push this if you remove uh, the condition that you work over the complex number? Sorry? It, ah, everything uh, was over the complex number. Yes, yes, yeah, That's because uh, relatives for k category, yeah. Uh, yeah, how far idea. can you push it if you remove the condition? So suppose we work up the reals or a different field. How far do you think? No, you no. Can push over reals, it it's means that you have anti-involution, and um, it's. Uh, but uh, yeah, I cannot do uh, like periodic numbers. It's it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so. Uh, I'm intrigued by your uh, remark that you can include the quantum torus in this. Yes, yes. Uh, you refer to the ordinary quantum torus when uh, a la Weyl and Schwinger where you have a, a yes, yes, 1 yes. over h restricted to integers. No, 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 ah. no, 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 not restricted. Yeah, just uh, arbitrary parameter, yeah. yeah. Okay, it yeah. works. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, thank yeah. you. So, uh, these full embeddings, uh, uh, how much of the Foucault category do you think they capture? Sorry? These full embeddings of these... Uh, it's almost, almost uh, yeah, in essentially the full... Uh, you, uh, you have some... Yeah, if you go to a larger, larger Lagrangian subs uh, subsets, you get to the whole... Uh, no, no, Foucault categories, you can have arbitrary conditions to infinity, but what's relevant for this comparison, you maybe get algebraic uh, uh, kind of boundary conditions to infinity. C can you somehow characterize the subcategory of the Foucault category? No, no, Foucault, Foucault to, to, to speaking about Foucault categories is non compact case, you do, should really uh, fix behavior to infinity, or maybe modify a little bit things, and then it will be Lagrange manifold will be compact, you don't have to worry. Uh, in the world of BPS states in 4D n equal to 2, what is h bar? Sorry? Uh, in, in, in the, uh, To two, yeah. It's, it's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe Greg. What is H bar in equal four theory? Ah, it's right. Yeah, it's no. It's actually it's in three dimensional theory. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I have a question. So, um, what is the very simplest? concrete example where the broken paths are not enough, so this new phenomenon where you have something that looks like not broken paths at the, in uh, compactifying, you know, in talking about Morse theory, you have some new phenomenon. What is no, the no, very no, no, simplest no. concrete example? No, 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 no. That's, that's exactly when you have this uh, nonlinear changing from wall crossing formulas. Uh, and. Uh, well, like, like I mean, I've heard about the wall crossing formulas before, but I mean, you say you have something, you have some new phenomenon. Yeah, no, no, no like exa exactly. You say in the path integral, and if you think of the path integral as a contour integral, that uh, yes, yes, no. For example, consider the usual Lefschetz calculus is not is yeah. not is not uh, sufficient, and there's some kind of new phenomenon. I didn't yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah no, exactly. Uh, you, you consider either this story or corresponding three-dimensional story. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you put some parameters in the game, uh, like boundary conditions, and start to yeah. rise, then, then you get extra walls, uh, uh, because uh, just literally what I say is that gradient line in the space of pass yes. are holomorphic curves, and these holomorphic curves you get extra phenomenon. Yeah, I, yeah, I got that part. So what's the very simplest concrete example that I can wrap my, my, my head around? You, you, you know, no, it's all, all the spectral networks is also a particular class of the same. Oh, you're talking about spectral networks? Yeah, of course, yeah. no, no. What I claim is that if you, if you consider a, a, like complex curve, you get spectral curve in cotangent bundle and yep. vertical fiber, yep. and start to look uh, where you get these holomorphic disks. Yeah. This holomorphic disk, if you shrink these things uh, very close to, uh, to zero section, it will be essentially a spectral net networks. Okay. Yeah, and then you. Any other questions? If not, let's thank the speaker again.